All right, so I've tuned the entire core octave from middle C up to just below the next C. So. So yay, it sounds good. So now what you do is you go into something that's called relative tuning. So put the tuner away. And so as soon as you get to that C above middle C, you do the same thing that you've been doing. You wedge mute two of the strings, but instead of tuning to the tuner, what you do is you tune to the C that you already tuned. So basically, you only tune one note of each kind to the tuner. C, C sharp, D. But the idea is that you always tune the piano to itself after the first octave. Make sure that it agrees with itself. Continue to go through the entire keyboard and tune every other note relatively to the 12 notes in that first octave that you tuned to the tuner. So once you get to the notes with just two strings, you can put the wedge mute in to the right of the rightmost string, wedging it between the back wall and the string. And then just make sure. well with the existing note in that first octave you tune. Then pull the wedge mute and tune the secondary string until it sounds like it's one note. Eventually, as you keep getting lower, you will come to the blissful single string notes. these lower bass notes with just one string. All you have to do is make sure that string agrees with the octave above it and you're good. And once you're done, you can play your piano and see what it sounds like. And even if it doesn't sound perfect, if it sounds better than when you started, you've accomplished something. Yes! Not happy with how it sounds? Well, go back and do it over again. Listen really carefully. Try to do this in as quiet an environment as possible. And just listen for those warbles between the strings and try to make them go away so that it's just pure sustaining notes going together. And if you're playing and there's certain notes that you just don't like how they sound, we'll go back and redo those. You know, there's no rules here. You can spot tune to your heart's content. As soon as you know how to do it, you can just go back and do it over and over and over again until you get it right. Now, if it doesn't sound very good after the first time you tune it, don't worry. You'll get better with time, and you'll get faster, too. The first time I tuned my piano, it took like five hours. Now I'm down to like two and a half-ish. The other thing to remember is not all pianos can be effectively tuned. Uh, a piano, once it is left drastically out of tune for too long, can never actually be brought back to pitch and be stable. It will always go out of tune. But for 25 bucks and the cost of a chromatic tuning app on your phone, you know, maybe it's worth giving it a shot. You could tune your piano yourself for like $30 one-time purchase. And then from that point on, it's free. Another upside of being able to tune your own piano is you don't actually have to do a full tuning for a very long time. You can do what's called spot tuning, where when you notice a certain note goes out, you can just go in and correct that one note and then you don't have to actually go through and do the entire thing, you know, except twice a year or something. Uh, so being able to spot tune is a definite plus. And when you're really done, make sure to put all the crap on the piano back so those who are inclined to view it as a piece of furniture don't get mad at you. So that's it for this episode of DIY Music. If there's something specific you'd like me to cover, feel free to put it in the comments below. Send me a direct message, and I'll see if I can hit it on a future episode. Thanks.